Right, golf mates, welcome down to the channel. We have got all man Pat. If you're new to the channel, this man has been playing golf for 70 years and he's been a Cat 1 golfer for 50 years. <laughs> At present, he's 79 year old and he's an 11 handicap. Now, today's video is all about how to lose shots on the course. Now, if you're a mid handicapper and a high handicapper playing with golfers who are single figures, but you can hit it better than them, but can't get a handicap like them, this video is for you. Would you say that, Correct. Pat? That's what it's all about. The short so, game. So Pat's got a lot of things. So we're going to talk about short game, Pat. Yeah, yeah. What else do you... Have you played with many golfers who are a 20 handicap, 15 handicap, 12 handicap? I certainly have. Who can hit the ball a long way? Oh, I, I, lots of them here. Lots of them? Yes, but it's like I say, but it's just the nitty gritty. It's the short games and the coming out of bunkers and things like that. There. And shot selection? Yes. So I think we're going to play a few holes, but because Pat is mic'd up now, you'll hear everything. But we're going to do a few examples. We're going to like pick the ball up, we're going to put it in dodgy lies, we're going to put it in good lies. We're going to do a... Basically, yeah. this video, I think, we're not PGA pros, but what Pat knows, it's worth knowing. And I reckon there'll be some nuggets of knowledge in this video what will help your game without a lesson. Correct, yes. You think that, don't you? I do, yeah. And there's no arm in laying up a shot, isn't there? No way, no way at all. So we're going to move the camera and Pat will, I'll ask him and Pat will talk through everything, what he's about to do. Right, Pat, so we brought you down on the first hole. Yeah. 435 yards. Correct. You can't reach? No, no. But what were you saying about if you had a slice? If I had a slice, this is where I would play from, the right-hand side of the tee. And why then, is that? And then you're aiming over towards the left. If, if you have a hulk, you're better on that side of the tee. So if you've got a bit of a draw, yeah. get on that side. Get on that side, yeah. Right, get you. So there's nothing up with laying up, Pat? No. It's all open down there, so no problem. Right, straight away, Pat, yeah. you've accepted you're not getting on in two. That's correct. So you're not going to try the crazy shot? No, no. So Pat only hits it, maybe this weather, maximum 200 now 200, with road, yeah. max, in it. Yeah. And Pat still plays to 11. So you'll need yeah, so some I, of the, you can, some days you can be single figures though, can't you? That's all, right, yeah, yeah. So. Depends on like, how you're playing on the day. First nugget, if you always have a draw, Go on the left-hand side of the tee box, opens yeah. it up a bit more. If you have a slice, on the right-hand right side. side. Yeah, so it, so that's a little bit of knowledge there. Yeah, it's okay. good one, that, Patrick. Yes, that was a nice and easy one, then. Right, Pat, first all, we're yes. not completely warm. No. 240 yards to the pin. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Have you seen higher handicappers take this shot on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do because they think they can get up. 240 yards. I'll tell you, a scratch golfer would be like, can get it down there, but yeah. they won't be expected to I know, hit the but green that, or anything. That's what I'm saying, that's, that's why they're high handicaps. They don't, they so, think. shot selection it's just is. Three so, you, Pat's got a three wood, Pat's three wood, about 165 does yeah. it go? Depends on the run. So, a higher handicap rate could actually hit a seven iron. Of course, he could. If they've got a decent swing, yeah. obviously, you're a 79 year old. Yeah. So, what are you thinking, Pat? I just use a three wood, knock it down as far as possible and uh, then get on for three. Would we say as a nugget, if you took the shot on as a higher handicapper, yeah. swinging hard on a three wood, yeah. what's the chances? Well, and what you, would the be outcome? You could hike it, or you could go right over right. If they hit it straight, if they hit the, the career best, they still won't get up. Get That's you. It. So it's not worth the risk? No. So it's a shot selection? That's it. So you're saying, well, I handicap seven iron here, or seven iron rescue? Well, something like that, yeah. 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 But don't hit just it knock it down, just... just knock it down as far as possible with an iron or whatever, and then... So accept you're not getting on, and don't take on the crazy shot. Exactly. Now that's about 120 in for the green. Right, OMP, we've come to your ball. Yeah. Quite straightforward. It's just, you've done what you said now, haven't you? That's it. No, on this shot, what are you playing? I'm playing just a pitching wedge. Okay. Nice and easy, but 
again, some high handicappers will get a, a 56 sand wedge and you know, try and throw it in the air like you see on telly. Right. Like Phil Mickelson. And, and they'll blade it and off it goes. So, the, so that's not the percentage yeah. shot, it's just do it your yeah. way. Even they could run it up with an 8 or a 9 iron or a, just a, a pitching wedge. Okay. Because you're only, you're only, what, 70 yards? Yeah, you are. You're about 70. You bounce, then you run. And that's all you need to do. Right, old man Pat. Yes. Safely on the green in three. Yeah. All I'm getting out is this. This is a hard hole. It is. It's yeah. 435 yards, it's stroke five, but it's the first your hole. first hole. So yeah. you want to get a ball gear and move along. Move along. So you've got to remember if you're a six handicapper, you get a stroke here. Seven handicapper, you get a stroke. So a ball gear, you're actually doing okay. Yeah. Especially a high handicapper, yes. But you don't want to be getting your doubles, do you? Oh, no. You're setting the mark off of your game, then you're just smoothing your way just, in. Just one, just drop one shot, and that's the maximum. Right, so you have got a bit of work. Yeah. What are you seeing, Pat? Well, just line the ball up on that marker, get it as close as possible to the hole, if not in the hole. So but, you mean line it up on a marker? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm, I'm lined up now here. See that little mark there? That's my mark. That's right. Where, that's where I set the ball. Just pause for one minute. Yeah. Right, we're back. Yeah. Right, so what's he saying, Pat? That mark there. So you're not looking at the flag? No, no, I'm looking there. That's where I want the ball to I'm going start. to use this, hopefully you can see it. Right. Right, now, give that a second. Right, golf mates, what Pat's saying is, he's got his line, yeah. and instead of looking at the flag, now, so, for you to get the right line now, yeah. you've only got to concentrate on, that, on two foot. Set the ball, ball off on the right line. So if I set it off on the right line, he's got to concentrate on yeah. two foot. Not concentrating, on 25, no, 30 no, foot. No. I mean, anything can happen from here today. So it's just pace now, but yeah. line wise. That's right, it's that's the pace it, you've now. done it now. I've got lined up with just the pace now, that's all. Honestly, golf mates, I wait, that is a gold, gold tip where he's made this putt now. One minute. Sorry, Pat. No, right. no you carry on, I meant to the golf mate, I do apologise. Well, that's it. I'll tell you what, that's unbelievable. I can't believe what I've just seen. <laughs> uh, uh, so he's parred it. Yes, Pat is good with putting. Hopefully you can see this. What I'm trying to say there is that a long putt, but all he concentrated on for the line, so obviously a putt's about line and pace, he's done 50% because of that. I mean, I can't believe you've just done that. Now we've come onto an all. When I tell you the yardage, you know, you're going to be like this. What's that all about? Yeah. So it's 275 yard this, Pat. It is. But it's not easy. No. This is a card wrecker oh, on definitely. a competition. Yeah. For Why is it a card wrecker? For the simple reason, if you're a long hitter, you, you're, you're tempted to go at the green. Same myself, huh? yeah. Right? And if you go at the green and if you're not straight, you're in the water or over the water, which is out of bounds. On the left? Yes. Yep. So that's why I'm teeing it up again on the right. But also, when you get to the from here, it's like a dog's paw, not a dog leg. Because when you get to the green, the pin's up at the other end. Yeah, so right the, the basically, well, there's a flyover now. Yeah. It's angled, the green is angled. Correct. The hole's not like a yeah. dog leg, but the green yeah. is angled. Well, the green it? goes like that, and we're coming out this way. So you want to be left hand side of left the fairway? Left hand side over there, yeah. So if you're a higher handicapper wanting to not to get a bogey or a double bogey, what's the distance you need here? Uh, about 180. Well, 180 down there. So would you give 170 to 190? Yeah. And if you went left, you are not reaching the trouble. Not going to reach the trouble. But you've got the best gateway into the green. Yeah. No, you're, no. you're picking a club what cannot go into the danger. That's it. Right, That's Pat. It. Pat's hitting driver, but you've got to remember, Pat only hits it 190. It might get to 200, but Pat is very straight. Just like that. And if he moves, I'll get you it. And that opens the green up right in front of you. So you're happy with that, Pat? Very happy. Right, OMP, great drive. Yeah, well, it's in position A, actually, for this so, hole. As we were saying, we're just going to go close to the green now. This is like an upside 
down saucepan, isn't it? It is, yeah. This is like a wok, the green. Horrible, horrible, yeah. So you need to give your best chance, and it's got to be like, like you said, left hand side. Yeah, that's it. No. 105 yards left. Yeah. What's going through your head? Well, I'm thinking of nine iron now, too. Just get it on the green. Is and that a full one or like a runny one? Uh, half and half, you know. Down, right, okay. Slightly downwind. That seemed all right. Great shot. Right, old man Pat. Yeah. Safely on the green. Yeah. On the right line. Correct. Would you have seen a higher handicapper play the shot different? Uh, again, they might go for this big wedge lot, which is nonsense. Just get a club that will get you on the green. By running? An eight iron or, yeah, sorry. Like I just, a nine iron and rubbing up to that green there. So we did say on the video, you can't go right. No. Now you've already suggested you're going to take a ball, we're going to go yeah. right for proof that you've seen Pat's skill. Because that green is so narrow, your approach shot coming in from the right now will not hold the green, no. will it? No, unless you... That's, now maybe like a low handicapper can throw it that high, that might do. But that's still a hard shot, Still a it? hard shot. And you could be in the trees. But exactly. we're going to put you on the right hand side anyway. Just try it, yeah. Just so you know, don't go there. Right, OMP, we've brought you to a place you have never been. Yes, thankfully. You've sprayed it right. Now, really, you've only got, again, 105 yards to that pin. Yeah. But you've got to go over two bunkers, yeah. a tree, and you've got a green about 20 foot wide. Correct. What would happen if you went for it? If you weren't, if you're a scratch golfer? Yeah, it, it, you'd, you'd, if you're a tiny bit short, you'd be in a bunker. A tiny bit bigger in the bunker. And if you hit the green, you might be in the bunker. Plus, you could be in the water even at the back. So for lower your handicap and not make a mistake. Just play it over here. Play so it you're over aiming here. short of the green. If it yeah. trickles on, great. But you're yeah. all left, left, left. Exactly. Club in hand. Uh, pitching wedge. Right, OK. Hit it and then we'll talk a bit more, yeah. my friend. And that's just on the edge. So, Pat. Yes. You're on the green and it's just trickled off. Just trickled off. But it's like with a trickle. Now, yeah. would you say an eye handicapper would never even think of that shot no, or would they? They wouldn't. They would, they'd be thinking of going at the pin. That's what they, they do. They keep taking these shots on and they're not capable of doing it. So now you've got a chip, maybe a putt. Yeah. You're going to have a par putt. Yeah. The I, worst I'll you're going to have... I, the most I'll have on this hole is a five. And that's from... Yeah. Being in position Z. Yeah. So you're not bringing a six or a seven. No, no. And we're talking two holes in, your card's not ruined. That's right. You can still move along, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Of course. You can. Right, Pat, we're going to play these both balls because that's in position here. Yeah. This is still okay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You this know, is, it's firm, it's trucker. You go right and you'd be that happy here, wouldn't you? When you go left. What club have you got in hand? I've got a seven iron just to run up to the pit. Please tell me, where do, where do you want to bounce this? Just about. Two, three yards on the green. Right. Straight away from here, what do you think a lot of different golfers would do? Uh, a very low handicapper would probably take a wedge. Okay. But they know how to do it. A higher handicapper might take the same club and either duff it and land there or thin it and go off the green. So you're on about like 56, 60, yeah. 52. Yeah. So but this is a smart shot, is it? Yeah, with a seven iron, all you got to just say, if, if, if you don't hit it as well, it's a, at least. Stay on the green. So if you duff it, it's still going forward still going and it's not going to apple turn over or blade it. Correct. Okay. So, Pinai, yeah. no, what would you give yourself? I'd only give myself seven out of ten for that. But, but it's there. Remember, I'm going for a five. So I'm not really. I like it. Yeah, so he's right, he was going for a five, he's got a putt for par, and it'll always be a tapping bogey. Now, if you're an 18 handicapper and bogey this, which is stroke 11, happy days, Pat. Correct. Pat. I'm having a putt for par with, with going on the right-hand side. So where are you seeing the line again, Pat? Again, just I'm picking a little spot, you won't be able to see it, but it's just there. So you're thinking round here? 
You're not there. Yeah. Just that side of it. So that's your same again. That's your yeah, line. That's my line. And all you have to worry about now is pace because you've okay. got your line. I have to look a bit short. Just have to short, but at least we're going towards the hole. That's all yes. I want. So, Pat, you've got a stress-free bogey yeah. from being in position Z. Exactly. By and playing remember, playing sensible. This green yeah. and this hole is a card wrecker. We know that being a yeah. playing here in a comp. This this is where you can get a six and seven. Yeah. But if you look back over where, where you were, you try and hit this green and stop. Because so you'll end up in that bunker. It'll be bounce, bunker. push, gone. Right, Pat, but we've got a birdie putt. Yeah. Oh, playing because you put it in the places where we'll it give you right a chance. On the left hand side. Again, a bit short. A bit short. Happy with a four. It was on the way in, wasn't it? Yeah. So, Pat, would you say, though, the knowledge is you don't have to hit your best shot, but if you're aim left, yeah. try and get it on the left hand yeah. that gives you the best opportunity to come exactly. in. But like I say, there's, there's left, and there's nothing in front of you. If you're over there, look, look at the problems you got. Yeah, full of them, isn't it? That little pitch from here with the 7 iron. I could have got it closer, but I wanted to show you a, a 20 handicapper would have probably hit it just like I did and get it to about 8 foot from the stick. He's going to get a 4, maybe a 5. That's all he needs. So would you say definitely using these techniques, you can lose two or three shots of your handicap you without even changing your swing? Correct, I think so. Anyway. Right, OMP. Right. What we've done, we've put us in a scenario here, haven't we? Yes. We're going to ask what you're going to do, yeah. but straight away we both looked at each other and giggled, didn't we? Yeah. So we think like a 15 handicap or a 12 handicap, or maybe not, 18 handicap, 20, 25. They're, they've got the ball around the green, haven't they? Yeah. There's a bunker to go off. Yeah. What would they pull out straight away? They would probably, probably. Yeah, probably 56 wedge again. Or a 60. Yeah, a 60. Thinking they need height to chip it over yeah. the bunker. If, if the pin was much closer, maybe. We understand. But not, not with the green, with so much green to play with. So the scenario we're giving you, there is loads of green, isn't there? Yeah. That's yeah. what you said. Yeah. There's loads of green. So what's your club in choice? I've, I've got an 8 iron. Just drop it about three yards onto the green and hopefully run it up to the So top. you're still going well over the bunker. Yeah. It's always going to go over the bunker. Oh, yeah. And you, the bunker's not in play really, is it? No. no. And you're taking the yeah. percentage of a fin or a chunk or hit it high and short exactly. out of it, aren't you? That's it. So you're going to play this. I'm going to play this. Would you play this always anyway? Oh, yeah. From that, with the, that much ground to play with, yes. Right, OK. Straight away. I might have been happy with that, yes. Uh, yep, yeah, definitely. Do you want to knock another? Yeah. So same again, eight iron. Eight iron, And yeah. you're chipping over the bunker, but it doesn't matter. There's, yeah. not, there's plenty of club, isn't there? Oh, yeah. So you don't need your lofted wedge. It's a firmer bounce, isn't it? Yeah. Shot. So, recap on that. Safe. Safe. That's for me. That's all you, you know, the, the, the best... Uh, even when I started playing, I'd have straight away, oh, I've got to go over a bunker, yeah. 56, 60. Not, that's only the pins. You've got about three yards of course. to try and hold. But even then, you won't, you won't And then start. if the pins are, you would take your medicine and probably go exactly, through the gap, just wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. So I hope you like that little knowledge. Like I said, I'm going to try and get him in these little places. Yeah. But again, golf mate, remember, this is my way of playing. I'm not saying, like... No, but I know, Pat, because... I don't want people to think that I know better than they do. No, uh, This Pat, is just my way of playing. What we try and get out of Pat is this. The scenario is this. Bunker. Yeah. Green. Flags miles yeah. away. You don't need a lofted club. Obviously, lofted clubs, what does it spell? A bit of high tariff. Yeah. It's a bit of danger, isn't it? Of course, you yeah. can, it's harder. It's easier to do a bad shot with a lofted, lofted exactly. wedge. Even if, you, if you're swinging like I was, I was swinging there low, slow even if you thin it it'll stay on the green yeah if you thin to take a wedge you've got to give it a, a right dig if you thin that it's off it's gone but the idea is to take as much danger out of a shot as possible and that's what you've done percentage has gone yeah. less love it right omp we brought you to a par three yes littered with danger it is. and this is where you've just said and it's a good reminder me but you've just mentioned the traffic line yes Tell me about all the danger of this hole first. 
first of all, left, you're out of bounds. And in the water, so you've lost the ball in If you're straight, you're in the bunker. Is that, so Pat's straight, if you're straight for the red pin, which is behind the bunker. Yeah. Just it's just a no-go, you yeah. can't get the ball to it. If it's the pin is white and it's at the back of the green, that's not too bad for you. Long hit it. Because you've got plenty of yeah. So if you, if, where the pin is now, if you were to dive over that bunker, you'd be right up to the back. Yeah, so you might hit the green, but you've gone, aren't you? Exactly. So, where the pin is, if you play right, it's, you're still in the green because that green comes right out. And to the it's the right. safest shot, isn't it? Exactly. And even this, you would be happy with a four because it's a stroke exactly. seven. Stroke seven. But a lot of people will attack that pin yeah. thinking it's only 155 yards. Yeah. It's not the case, is it? No, From no. where that pin is, this is hard. Yeah, it certainly is. So you're happy to miss the green right I mean, instead of left if you're going to miss it? If you can see that bunker well over on the right, that's the prime aim. Go in it. So the knowledge is forget the pin, yeah. trap it like red. Not a bit too far, but it's bouncing. But Pat, it's real. Yeah. So, Pat, I don't want to be disrespectful. Would you say that's like a bailout area? It is. But is it a safe? Of course it is. Bailout area. Yeah. Perfect. So, well, like you say. If you can see, I'm more or less level with the pin, but I'm safe. If I hit it straight, I'd been in that bunker. Yeah, because you didn't catch it great, did you? Oh, no. But like I say, I'm happy with this. I'm going to use the seven iron now to run onto the green. Hopefully get a four, but if not, uh, a three, if not, get a four. But you, like I said, this hole is full of danger, danger. All over. And you did it so you took the danger away yeah. as yeah. much as you can. Correct. Okay, mate. That rolled on a bit, didn't it? Right, OMP. It's still, like I said, you're going to be a tapping pan. Now, this has got movement in it. Yeah. Oh, it's not moved, is it? No. But it's still a tapping pan. When it lost its pace, it's starting to move. So, would you say, Pat, this is a hole again where we brought them to? Card wrecker. Yes. You, you know, you want to be missing in the right place. If you places. get greedy, it is. But if you want to play safe like I've just done there, it's a four. Yeah, so and it's stroke seven, so you'll take, yeah. have that part, you can have it. Right, Pat, we brought us to the six. Yes. Stroke 17, yes. but really this is probably the easiest call on the course. Yes. Not long, 265 yards, yes. downhill. Can be reached all day long. Yes. But, what did you say, further you get? The further you get, the trouble is you can get in trouble even. If you're straight on this hole, like where the pin is today, you want to be left. Okay. That takes the bunkers out. Right. I mean, the case in, in point was Stuart yesterday. He had a super drive, he's level with the pin, but we couldn't take it. Because he had to yeah. chip over and yeah. the pin would be iron. Yeah, so and we played Texas that, Scramble yesterday. Yeah. We won't get into that because no, that no, video's no, not no. out no. yet. So, OMP, it's you safe. said straight away. Over, over towards the 70, which is left. Yeah, where the mark With the three wood. So you can hit that there all day. Yeah. And if you go straight, you will not get into the trees because you've got a free wood. Exactly. Now just tell him, we've got a friend on the channel, Mr. Barlow, yes. 13 handicapper. Yeah. What happens on this tee? Because he thinks he can get on the green. Yes. What's his mindset? Where does he cock up? He cocks up because he tries to hit the ball too hard. But get on the green? Yes. And then he sprays it right. Now, if he's not in the trees, he's still got bunkers to go over, where the pin is now. So he should use the three wood, like I'm going to do now, and put it over left which you can do. And if you're off 18, yeah. you're on a shot here. Of course you are. So you can par it and move along. And yeah. it's, a, it's a bonus, you've nicked one off the course. Exactly. So we're not going to see this land no. because of the sun. So Pat's got three wood, he's aiming left fairway, knowing he cannot go into the forest. Perfect. You're going to hit the run and let it tickle down. Perfect. Oh, I and didn't hit that very well, but it's still OK. No, you didn't, but yeah. you know it's... It's going to run down yeah. the hill, it's fine, going to be on the fairway yeah. and it's going to open the green up a lot more. Right, OMP. Yes. Not your best strike. No. But we think you've got 115 left. Yeah. But still, it's 115 yards. But you've got the easiest and shot in, haven't you? At least it's on the right-hand side of the fairway. Because it opens the green up now. 
Exactly. And what we said, if you would have struck that better, it would have given you another 15, 20 yeah, yards. Yeah. It would have been 90, 80 yards in. But as they can see, where I'm going to put the markers up now, hitting the free wood is the widest part of the fairway. Yeah. Yeah. So you're on the short stuff. Right, what kind of shot are you playing and I'm, what would you think an handicap would play? Because I think you both be playing the same shot. Yes. Well, I'm going to play an eight iron. And uh, he'd probably play the two. He'd um, probably play a nine iron if he hits the ball a long way. And away. what colour is the traffic light? Well, it's, it's green because you just go at, at the, not at the pin. Oh, so it's an amber then? An amber. You just amber. go for the green. Beautiful golf shot, this. No, it's not easy. Has that gone through or on the green? I can't see it. I can't see it, Penny. Well, we have no idea if it's on the green or not, but there's yeah. only one way to find out. That's it. But, yeah, I think you played that like how it should be. Yeah. But it is a risk and reward, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But if you, like I, I, say, I do think, Pat. Now, if I was over right. In the trees. Yeah. You're blocked out. Well, even not in the trees, I was right. I've got that bunker to go over or try and, and then I try and push it too far left and I'm in the bunker on the left. Right, I took, stuck a three wood off the tee, put it in the right position and then played it onto the amber side of the green. And I'm putting for a birdie. Right, Pat, so you've made this pretty easy, haven't you? Yeah. I like what you said though, you took the three wood they can see behind us now the biggest part of That's the fairway. It. See? Longer you were, it's narrow on the trees. Exactly. But you still had a hard shot for your second and you played that well. Yeah. But you That's had the hard true. shot, but you played well, it even, as... even if you duffed it, it would come straight up on there. Yeah, I agree. Okay, mate. Hopefully you don't hit the green keepers, but Aunt Pat done brilliant. If you can get more videos like this and more knowledge, comment below what would you want to see from him. And he's left it a midges short again, but it's a tapping par. He's looking at his friends. Look at that, Pat. Right, Pat. Right, so hopefully, out of that video, we've not a clue what the title is, but all we do know is, if you can use a bit of that on the golf course, you can lose your handicap. Yeah, just, without technique, shots, anything, just, lessons. Just doing a little bit of thinking. Don't take everything on me if you're a higher handicap. I'm not being disrespectful, but if, you use, if you've if got the shots, use them. Yeah, I agree. And Would you like to see more of these? And if you do, comment below what kind, because Pat's come up with one. We was going to do it one time where I were going to play five holes. Yeah. And there's, we all, all say we have arguments on the course, but we have little bits of disagreements on what kind of shots. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to see me do five holes how I want to play them? and then pack caddy from it. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you want to do that on a few holes, don't yeah, you? Yeah. But we're not going to say what. No. But would you like to see Pat caddy for me and yeah. see if we can do stuff with me? Yeah, of course. Because I'll I'd, I'd have to listen then, Pat, oh, wouldn't yeah. I? Because yeah. uh, they'll all be watching. So thanks for watch. Like the video if you haven't liked it. If you have got some out of the video, get off your ass and comment <laughs> you, what's helped. Please do, because then we can make more. If, it, if you are getting something from it, then we'll do it. Hopefully Simple as that, you, isn't it? That's, hopefully you lose if you get one enough, shot even. Yeah, yeah, if you lose one shot, it's, yeah. it's brilliant, isn't it? Of course it, it is, yeah. So I've been Liam Harrison. I'm Owen P. He's a I legend and a hero. I hope to see you hero. all very soon. You will. Thanks for watching. Thank you.